some loving persons, uh, uh, hi, hey, hi, hello, Pokemon lovers, what's up, welcome to another episode of Rating All Pokemon, we're gonna rate some Pokemon today, that is what we do in this particular show, in case you didn't know, maybe it's your first time here, that would be weird, because you'd be dropping in the middle, but sure, if that's what you want. I'm fine with it. Last week we ended with some very sick ghost Pokemon, but today we are doing some other Pokemon because we already did the ones we did last week. Today we're starting out with actually a personal favorite of mine that is in the Hoenn region. It's very, maybe it's unexpected, but I really like this Pokemon. It is Tropius. Tropius is interesting. It looks like a dinosaur, it looks like the monster of Loch Ness grew banana leaves out of its body and started growing bananas under its chin. And the first time I ever walked into a Tropius, I was like, what the fuck is this? I want it. And I got one. And he became my best friend. And his name was Banana Man. And I'll, I'll love Banana Man forever. So Tropius is a grass and flying type. Now, if you look at it at first glance, it doesn't actually look like a flying type, but it can use its wings, leaves, wings to fly into the air. But seriously, it doesn't look like a flying Pokemon, does it? I love, I love Pokemon that have a typing you wouldn't expect. It's my favorite, I love it. So Tropius is a Pokemon that loves to eat fruit. It's very like chill and friendly. And because it ate so many bananas, it started growing bananas from its own neck. Now, I've never started growing pizzas from my neck, but if I did, that would be the best shit ever. That would be great. I would enjoy that. So these fruits, these bananas, they're not actually bananas. They're banana-like fruits, but they're bananas. I think. They can be consumed by humans and other Pokemon. Now, I don't think they can actually be consumed by Tropius himself because first of all I don't think he can bend his neck away so he can grab its own banana and I also don't think his weird paws can reach to his bananas so that's a pity it grows bananas and it can't actually eat them how upsetting so Tropius is a Pokemon that lives in the tropical areas of the Hoenn region apparently apparently Fortree City is in a tropical forest I never realized that I thought it was just in a forest but tropical. Then again, I kind of see it now. Tropius's name comes from the words tropical and saurus. Saurus is actually not, have nothing to do with dinosaurs even though it is, it does look like a dinosaur, but saurus is the Greek word for lizard and it has a lizard face. So, five out of five. I love Banana Man, what a good guy. What a good, good, good guy. <laughs> Next up is number 358, Chimeco. Now, I really like Chimeco. Uh, it was in the anime, James owned one, and it was very adorable. It has this little thing on top of its head, and I always used to think that was like some type of bell or handle, but it's actually a suction cup. Like, who knew that? It's a suction cup, and it uses that suction cup to latch itself onto trees, even though suction cups don't actually work on trees, but that's beside the point. It latches itself on trees and is it when it's just a little wind chime. Very cute. <laughs> so Chimeco is a Pokemon that is based on a wind chime. It's mostly active during the night and it can make echoing sounds. It's really cool. Pokemon Ruby says Chimeco makes it cries echo inside its hollow body. When this Pokemon becomes enraged, it cries result in ultrasonic waves that have the power to knock foes flying. First of all, I can't imagine Chimeco ever being enraged, but very cool. Chimeco's name in French is Eoko, which sounds Japanese when I say it, but Eoko comes from, and this is so weird, uh, hey -o, as in, I believe with that they mean the sound people make when they're like screaming into a mountain range to get the echo sound and echo. Very weird. 4 out of 5. Our next Pokemon of today is actually a very interesting Pokemon. It's Absol. Now Absol is known as the disaster Pokemon and the reason for this is that it has really high sensitivity which allows it to be able to sense upcoming disasters like a tornado or an earthquake. And every time something like that would happen 
it would come down from its mountain and try to warn the villagers. Here's the thing, every time this Pokemon came down from the hill, a disaster would happen and people would believe it was Absol's fault that the disaster actually happened, even though it was just trying to be protective and um, come and warn the people. It's actually very sad. Absol is a very secluded Pokemon. It lives in the top of mountains and it enjoys its solitude, but it will come warn people when something is about to happen. Absol has a mega evolution, which I think looks absolutely insane. Its fur grows longer, so it looks like it has angel wings and it just looks like it fell out of the sky from heaven to warn the people and then the people think it's a disaster. Pokemon Sun says, Long ago, superstitions were spread about it, saying it brought disaster. This fed a hatred of it, and it was driven deep into the mountains. Like I said, this stuff is just really sad. It's just trying to help, and it gets... abolished. Absolished. <laughs> Absol's origin is a very interesting story. It is based on the Bai Ze, which is a Chinese mythological creature that is very intelligent, it can speak the human language, and it knows about every single mythical creature out there. What it did is it came down from the hill, maybe, and talked to the Yellow Emperor, shared its knowledge of all the supernatural creatures in the world to warn it and to um, teach it how to protect itself from them. Now, in Japan, there's a similar creature that actually supposedly looks exactly the same. It's called the Kutabe, and it predicted the plague that would sweep through Japan. Absol's head, or the way its head is shaped, kind of resembles the Taijitu symbol, which is more commonly known as the yin and yang symbol, <laughs> which is light and dark, um, good and evil, stuff like that, opposites. Um, Absol looks dark, but it's actually a good guy. It makes sense. Absol's name comes from a lot of different meanings. It can come from buso, which means dangerous in Japanese. Absol, a buso. You know, you feel it, you feel the Japanese in there, hell yeah. Its name can also come from absolute, which would refer to its ability to predict disasters. Wow, I couldn't think of the word. And absolve, which would mean to free someone from punishment or blame makes a little bit less sense, but then again it also means to be declared as innocent for an accused wrongdoing. Which would make sense because Absol gets blamed for something it actually has nothing to do with. 5 out of 5. The last Pokemon of today is Why Not, also known as the pre-evolution of Wobbuffet, or the baby Pokemon. Why Not is a Pokemon that lives in caves. Why Not? I, I, this is something I still don't understand. Everywhere it says that it will test its endurance by squeezing up to other why not and that way it, it strengthens itself and toughens its spirit, but I don't really see how squeezing yourself up to others does that, but apparently it does. When Why Not gets angered, it slaps the ground with its little tail and it really likes to eat fruit. Very interesting Pokemon. <laughs> and it kind of looks like an emoticon or an emoji kind of, and it's weird, but so does Wobbuffet. If you want to know if your Why Not is angry, you have to look at its tail. Its tail has eyes and it will show you if it's angry and also it will start slapping the ground, as I mentioned before. Like Wobbuffet, Why Not is most likely based on the on the Okiagari Koboshi. Did I say that? Okiagari Koboshi! Doll. I said that right. I'm so proud of myself. Which is a traditional Japanese doll that stands for perseverance. Why Not's name comes from Why Not and the Japanese name, which is Sonano, comes from the Japanese phrase Sonano. You sometimes hear that in anime and it means really. Together Wobbuffet and um, Why Not make a conversation because Wobbuffet means that's the way it is. Why Not is really. So it's like really. Well, that's the way it is. Things will never be the same. Four out of five. That was it for today, my people. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I made it for Pokemon because Absol is a bit of an interesting boy and you have to talk a lot about it or something. So that's what happened. Next week, we've got some cool guys. We've got the... Um, Snorunt evolution line and the Sfeel evolution line, so be watching out for that. Snorunt. 
check out my other videos if you want to and uh, just say hello and I'm really bad at ending videos so I'm just leaving have a good week rest of the week it's Wednesday have a good rest of the week bye next stop is number the next Pokemon is actually very, very interesting. It's number 300 and a plague to sweep and predicted. It tests is it tests tests. Wow. Yes. It tests is wow. It tests tests. It's whoa. What the fuck is that? That is not possible. Like Boba, F Boba Fett. <laughs>